slave who mailed himself to freedom. Henry Brown was a slave working at the tobacco factory in Richmond. He was happily married and had three kids though his marriage was not legally recognized because slaves could not legally marry like free people. Brown paid some money to his wife's master so that his family wouldn't be sold. However, the man betrayed him and sold them. Due to the separation, Brown began to plan his escape so that he could reunite with his family and escape from oppression. Brown burnt his hand with sulfuric acid so that he could have an excuse for not being able to make it to work. He hired a carpenter to construct a box. It was large enough to hold a man, but in an extremely uncomfortable knee-bent position. After a 27-hour long trip via railroad, wagon and steamboat, he arrived in Philadelphia to a group of abolitionists. After regaining his freedom, he became a speaker for the anti-slavery society. Although he continued preaching against slavery for the next 10 years, he did it without his family. Brown was contacted by his wife's new owner, who offered to release his family. Shockingly, he rejected his offer. 